Guy, Mari, Mr. Chino, Mr. Finn, Mr. Storm, Miss Molly, Miss Ruby, Miss Sophia. And good morning to all of you amazing day fam out there. Happy Father's Day to all the dads. Did you say happy Father's Day to dad? He's sleeping. Yeah, I know. That's his thing. He likes to sleep. He doesn't even barely get up on chore On chore mornings? Yes, he does. He sets an alarm. He gets up every morning at 8 a.m. Come on, let's go. Horses are waiting. Did he skip his alarm? No, I told him he could sleep in. I stayed up till 1 a.m. You stayed up till 1 a.m.? I bet you Gabby and Kaylee stayed up late too. Good morning, Gracie Poo. Good morning, Willow Poo. People are saying it's the water from the grass, which I, I did take into account. There you go. Ugh. Which I did take into account. Like, they're not so super fat. And I don't know, from afar, Willow looks cute. But I don't think it's, whoa. It's okay, I'm just feeling your belly. I scared her. But I don't think, yeah, it's definitely not just the bloat. Like, there's some, there's a baby. It looks like there's a baby in there. Oh, he got stabbed. Bye, hey. Oh my goodness, you need a brush. Anyway, good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Father's Day, we let Sam sleep in. My big difference between Sam and I is that I love to wake up. Like, I like to go to bed at night and I wake up. Like, I wake up early all the time and I go to bed a little bit early. Sam is a night owl and he likes to sleep in. So today is the day that I said, Sam, sleep in. The girls and I will do all the work, but Gabby was smart and got away and slept at Kaylee's. I should have thought that through better. I always tell you guys, wake up, go out there and find the miracle in every day. And I always tell you guys to think it, dream it, believe it. And what I forget to tell you guys is that it's the things that you pretend have already happened that come true. So if you want to be an amazing canter girl, then imagine, just keep imagining you out there on that horse, cantering like a dream, and it will happen, it will happen. You have to believe it and dream it before it will happen. To bring it into existence just by your imagination. I'm looking around and seeing all the disasters that the horses are doing in the arena. Finny's cut. Oh, that's the one above his eye? Yeah. Oh man. He doesn't dance. At least when he gets cut above his eye, he's not lame. Yeah. Blind, but not lame. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I've been noticing. I think, I think look Bobby it. wants to go camping. Look at this. Mm, Chino. You think it's Chino? Yeah. Holy heck. What are you doing up there? That is not for puppies. Smart. At least she didn't jump off. Yeah, at least she didn't jump off. Not gonna lie, I love that they have this arena. I love that they come in here. I love that they feel like they can play with stuff, chew stuff, ruin stuff. But at least they're not bored. They're like doing stuff. I want to take a bunch. I want to get like a bunch of toys for them and stick them in the fields so that they have stuff to play with. I know, but because there's little bits of grass in the field, I feel like they just walk around eating the grass. They never really. She knows. Yeah, I want to get more toys too. Comment below your favorite toys for your horses, because we're in the market for some new toys. Okay. All right, so that is the fresh hay. This is the old hay. I'm gonna take it out for Chino. Last night I looked up how much hay does a mini need. Molly, how Molly. much hay a day, and they need 1.5 to three pounds of hay, or some places said two to five pounds of hay a day. Which is about basically what I feed them. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took from me, I know that I am so much better, better. When I look at what I've done, now that we are apart. We 85 degrees. 85 degrees at the crack of dawn. Holy heck. Is this me or is it hotter? Um, you're wearing winter clothes, Sophie. No, this is a t-shirt. All right, there's something that has to happen before the horses can even go outside to eat. I'm not gonna make it back to the field with horses until we have water. Like, oh my goodness. I know you guys say I say it's the hottest day of the year every day, but yesterday and today are actually the hottest day of the year. How did you get in there? How did you get in there? Oh, here. 
power. I was just holding it different. Let's take the horses out. How are we doing it? Okay, so since you're Gabby. Okay, so you're gonna lay Storm. I'm gonna lay Finn. Field. And then we're gonna come back for Chino? You're gonna come back for Chino. Why don't we take Chino first? Because then you'll have a heart attack. All right. You know how people say like farming is like the worst job? I feel like farming is not the worst job. I feel like it's not the hardest job. I mean, it's not easy, but I feel like how hot, like the weather makes it like, I feel like the weather makes it so much worse. I feel like if you did not have to battle the elements, farming would be like the coolest job. But being out there in this heat and being out there in the extreme cold, not so fun. recently decided that the only cure for ulcers is ulcer guard and uh, that is true technically but um, antidotally our vet told us and I believe this too there are a lot of products out there that haven't been tested because it's very expensive to test um, to see if they can prevent ulcers or cure ulcers cure ulcers um, and UTP is one of those ones that anecdotally works for horses and doesn't and actually cures ulcers. It even says on the website that it will cure and prevent and we have found it to be true. We did have a horse with ulcers and uh, that was Willow and we tried a few different things and she still had an ulcer flare every once in a while. Ever since we started this she is as good as gold. So I give it to her, I give it to all of our horses as a preventative. Um, I and love, there's some ribbons. And another thing I've learned having horses is that when your horse has ulcers, like you can tell, like it, there are a lot of signs and I feel confident that our horses are good. So we've been babysitting the puppy and when Gabby's here, I always like, Gabby always is so strict with the puppy, like she, when Gabby gets ready for the morning, the puppy sits beside her in the bathroom, lays on the floor. And I'm always like, just let her be a puppy. Let her go downstairs. Let her do her own thing. Yeah, well, that is not a good idea. <laughs> There's a reason that Gabby is strict with the puppy and makes her behave. She needs to behave. Come on, minis. All you seem to do is lie. Those days are gone. I walk and talk while you're. Without heat waves, we would never appreciate the glorious, normal summer days that we get, huh, Sophie? Yeah. Today we are swimming now, for sure. All right. Hi. Goodbye, baby ponies. I know. I'm scary. Oh, she's so cute. We need to brush our ponies today. All right, so one of you guys suggested that we spy on the chickens laying eggs. Wow, look how fluffy they are. Oh, we got eggs. Oh, we already got eggs? Man, we missed it. I brought the GoPro out and we were gonna, we were going to see who did it. Who did it? Who did it, little chickens? How many eggs, little Sophie? A pink and a brown. A pink and a brown. See the difference in color? One has feathers. <laughs> one wow, that one really pushed. Yeah. Okay, excuse me. No, they're all chickens. Sophie, if there was a rooster, we would 100%, if there was a rooster, we would always hear a cock a doodle doo and we hear nothing. All right, so I messaged the guy who sold us the chickens. Remember, we went there? Yeah, and he said these are uh, a Wyan dot. I forget how you say it. I don't even know how you say it, but I like that kind. Look how big her thing is oh. compared to all the others. Mm -hmm. Even the other one doesn't have this I know, big. but she doesn't crow. So, Wyandot sex link cross, which I love that breed. Mm -hmm. I love healthy young chickens. They're always so nice. 
Uh, but they're oh, really she's gorgeous. So heavy. Like I'm happy to have these two. They're beautiful. Oh, she's super so beautiful. Good. I know. Be. Should be good to eat. <laughs> Just joking. No. And then the black and white one is a barred rock. And then the other ones are two um, a sex link. Look how big she is. Ones that came from like a uh, hatchery here locally. The size of those chickens she's we should so be. Like compared to the other Yeah, one. the size of those chickens we should be getting five See, eggs. Her thing's not as red mm -hmm. and not as big. I know. Anyways, Sam says that he is going to work on this today. I don't know if he'll be able to because it is so hot. But those Wyan, Wyan, Ot, Wyan Dots, I don't know how to say it. They're gorgeous. Nothing better than a grown chicken. Okay. Last year winter came really fast. Like way faster than it has in the last few years. Yeah, you want to go right down to Sam? Yeah. So winter came and we were caught off guard and we didn't have anything ready for the chickens so i gave them to our trainer and then i felt bad asking for him back and so i should have come to you guys and said like what the heck should we do with our chickens instead but you guys came through and a lot of you guys told us that we should have like put them in the extra stall for the winter and so you better believe that i'll be doing that this year like i don't want to love more chickens and then get rid of them but if getting rid of them is the best thing for them and the only thing that we can do at the time then that's what we have to do but yeah we're never gonna have better chickens than our other yeah last year's chickens they got triples. yo i know our last year chickens were the best chickens on earth huh especially molly yeah so i almost had sam convinced to go and buy a big huge boat what kind of boat was it i don't know it's not that hot it'll get hot later in the day um a pontoon boat i want him to buy a pontoon boat and i like i told him how much like imagine how much fun it would be because we can't really have a trailer or a cottage or anything it's like not that, that cold. because we have the horses it's but, not that cold but imagine if we like got up in the mornings and we packed up and we went out on the lake and we spent like a day we could take so many day trips and do so much fun stuff with a boat is it just me or are you hearing kaylee but he said no he said we have to wait because we're saving for a bigger and better farm and then i got really selfish and i was like oh, you can wait another year and then i started thinking about the horses and how they don't really have that much shade out there and that they need more room and then you i said selfish? Selfish? yeah he's right he's right yeah wouldn't you want to have a pontoon boat we could take all of your friends out on the lake yeah right, so we're gonna so show you put her in the water first so she no 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 just these. put her on there it's warm oh my god so this is our little dock for the puppy. Help me. I better get out of my tube. Hold on. Okay. So this Help is the me, Mom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's lift her, lift her, lift her. Oh. Okay. She's so harder than you think. We put her on there and when Give Gabby's me. here and then we call her. Just wait, let her come this way. Come here. She's gonna jump to you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hope you know. Okay. Let's see. I don't want to... She'll just jump into the water to you. No. Gabby dove last time. You'll be okay. Wait, stand out here so she has to jump in. No, but, like, I don't want to fall back. You won't fall back. She's a heavy puppy. She's not. Come here. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I got soaked. Put her back on there. Sam's come to put the ponies in, so let's see how this works out for him. Do you want me to do it? I will just do it. Sure. Dad, let me go. Just open the door. Let me go. I just have to stand here. And wave my hand. Okay. Oh, well, I could do that. I mean, that's easy. Aha! Hmm. She needs a shave. Father's Day, so he's showing off, showing off his horse skills. All right, let's do it. We just had a swim, and now we're going out there to brave the horses. This is how much our horses love coming in. Down really low for me to put the horse on. Yeah. 
When we go out to get the horses and bring them in at midday, like at one o'clock, because they've been on grass all day, when we come in, they literally run. Like I was walking there, I didn't have, I never could get the camera out fast enough. Chino was like, whoa, running right to the clicking. gate. Chino was running to the gate. Storm galloped. A storm totally galloped. Storm galloped to the gate yeah, and. Yeah, like literally they just can't, and we don't feed them in here. They do nothing but just hang out in here when it's a heat wave and they love it. Like that's how much they want to come in. Uh, and they're not sweaty. Because they, they, they have big round bellies. Oh, I'd be sweaty if I was standing. Oh, I'd be sweaty. I'd be passed out in the field. I actually read about horses dying of heat exhaustion. I'm like, mm, that's great. Is that great. why you bring them in? No. What am I sitting on? Halter. Oh. Uh, no, I bring them in because no, it's not fit for man or beast out there. It's just so ridiculously hot and I think it's a kind thing to do. Would you do that? Yeah. Finn, gets, Finn gets less hot because he's not black. Yeah. But Storm and Tino and Will all get really hot. Yeah. So we're gonna go right now and we're gonna pick up Gabby and Kaylee and Kaylee's gonna sleep over because that's the way they do it now. Hey, can I sleep over at Kaylee's house? Sure. And then the next day, hey, can Kaylee sleep over at our house? Kaylee's on summer vacation now. I couldn't care less if she just lived here with us, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So both of my girls love her and they want, they would not be upset if she lived here either. We do have vet tomorrow and we for the puppy and we have vet the next day for the horses, so. So Kaylee gets to be there. I know so much So Sophie and I are at the grocery I, I store. The Whenever Kaylee sleeps over, we try and get a few snacks to keep on hand. So we're gonna get some. We got some salad and some mushrooms. I like this store because it has like a nice variety of junk food. I would get these because I love black licorice. Carrots for our horses. And us. And us. And how many? Two? One. But I got these ones last time. It tasted like Rice Krispies, so I don't know. Warm. I know it's 85 degrees. Molly is over there hoping yeah. not to be dumped in today. Whoa. No, Wait. That one barely tipped. <laughs> Sophie missed them so much. <laughs> and this is why we have no water in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty cool, but I hope you guys don't break it. <laughs> it's like flipping over on the thing. Can you have some fun? Come <laughs> on with your thighs. Does Chino look lame? No. They're like, nope, nope. Hi. Hi. Hey, Chino. Hey, Chino. They're like, okay. It's just. <laughs> They're scared. Girls want to go to the quarry. Oh, this is dangerous. Stop it. They're all going to be lame. Don't pop up. Oh my 
God, stop it! Close them in. Whoa! Watch yourself, Sam! Apparently, the girls in bikinis are scaring the boys! You're okay. Whoa, whoa. Storm. Now he's gonna go zoom. It's just Gabby. Storm. It's okay. Good boy. Brave as horse. Good boy. It's okay, Finny. It's just Sophie. Well, they got their exercise in for today. All right, biggest chicken. Wait, where is Gino though? <laughs> You're okay, there he is. It's okay, Gino. Gino. Close the gate. Oh, they're okay, they're getting it now. They're figuring it out. Maybe your dad got trampled. I haven't seen him since he went to close the gate. Do you see him? It's okay, Chino. It's okay. Chino. Chino. I kind of want the big horses to come and clear out a lot of this grass so that I can leave the pon leave that door open so the ponies can have all this and I want to be able to leave that open all the time so when the big horses are out in the little fields that they can come out here and have like the whole space. But yeah, I don't think that it's a good idea. I don't think it, it did not work out according to plan apparently girls in bikini swimming is terrifying. Okay, so Kaylee has something on her bucket list. Kaylee, tell us what's on your bucket list. Gabby is bucket list contains chocolate. Mm -hmm. Just Jumping off rocks. You wanna jump off rocks into water? Yeah. All right, well we are gonna make- it's so high. Is it? My ears are plugged. We are gonna make Kaylee's dreams come too, true and we're gonna go to the quarry and jump off rocks into Gabby water. Are you gonna do it? No, I'm gonna swim. Yeah, me too. We are